Food storage in plants. How do plants modify or adapt their parts to store food? Some plants can modify their stems in order to store food. And the most familiar example has to be the potato. The potato plant develops an underground stem and the ends of these stems become swollen with food. These swollen parts are known as stem tubers. Every time you tuck into a french fry or you have a bag of chips, you'll now know that you're eating a deep fried stem tuber. Some other plants have modified leaves where they store food. To understand these modified leaves, you really have to look at the full underground structure of these plants and the underground structure is known as a bulb. A bulb is really an underground stem and root system, both together. The best example of a bulb that's most familiar to you would probably be an onion. In this underground bulb, the leaves become swollen with stored food and this is the actual part of the onion that we would eat. So when you're eating onion, you're actually eating the swollen leaves of the bulb. To help you make sense of this, let's look at the structure of a bulb. So this is an onion, it's a bulb and we've cut it in half. In the picture, you can see those swollen fleshy leaves, the part of the onion that we actually eat. At the base of the bulb, you can see the compressed or reduced stem. And at the very centre, you can see the apical bud. The apical bud, this is what will grow or sprout into the new plant. So what you're looking at when you really examine an onion bulb is the new plant which is going to grow from that apical bud and the food for that growth to fuel that growth comes from those swollen fleshy leaves. That apical bud will sprout, its leaves will turn green, photosynthesize, sending food down to those lateral buds which have the potential to turn into new onion bulbs. This diagram of the onion bulb appears twice on your course, so I think it's a good investment or a wise investment to learn how to draw it. Know the apical bud, the reduced stem, the lateral buds and those swollen fleshy leaves. So those delicious onion rings are fried, modified leaves of a bulb. So what about an example of a root that's modified for food storage? Well, dicots, those plants with two cotyledons, two embryonic seed leaves, they have a long taproot which develops from the radical. This long taproot becomes swollen with stored food. The carrot is a great example of a root modified for food storage. So those carrots in your carrot cake are actually examples of roots modified for food storage. This topic is only very briefly covered in your book, but it's encountered so often on the Leaving Cert papers where you're asked to give examples of modified roots, leaves and stems. As always, this is just a little supplementary resource. Always use your textbook, make sure you do past papers, practice drawing diagrams and the very best of luck in those exams.